Okay, Chase, come here. Let's see those heels. Turn, let's see the size of the heel. No, put it back down. Okay, that's a cute meal. And it is too large for your hood, but you are doing the damn thing. So this bitch is working her very last night here. We're at meals, but she has something to say to all of you here at Mickey's. Give it up for Wilma. Mickey's West Hollywood, how you doing tonight? You know, in high school, when they said, what are you going to be doing in five years? This was it. Um, Rave, bye. <laughs> I thought she left. This is my very last night here at East West Hollywood. I've worked here for two and a half years. I was still in college when I got this job. And I just wanted to say a couple things about this show in particular, because if you want to see a fucking drag show, you come here. You don't go anywhere else, you come here. Any RuPaul's Drag Race queen, any upcoming queen performs here. Some of the most creative shit I've ever seen has been on this stage. Glenn Allen, Raven, Morgan, Mariah, who is here tonight and actually did my hair, and actually Matt gave me these shoes, and Anjana gave me this necklace, so I'm just a hodgepodge of everybody else is left. So I personally wanted to thank Raven, because if you remember correctly, <coughs> Mickey's closed down for a whole month, and one of the very first people to text me and say, are you okay, was you. Yes. So, I was drunk. <laughs> I've always said that I wanted to come to this show as my last shift and come and drag, do this. And I wanted to thank you guys for having me around for so long, showing me some of the most creative shit I've ever seen. And more importantly, I feel like in the gay community, a lot of uh, us will struggle. This is my moment, <laughs> A lot of people will go after masculinity, and I think drag is really important because it is the biggest fuck you to masculinity out there. And I really, really honestly appreciate it as an art form now because I never understood it the end. Everybody used to say, well, I didn't know anything about, I didn't know anything about RuPaul's Drag Race. I knew, oh, okay, thank you. Oh, a five. I'm gonna terrorize you for fun. Angel things have happened. But the last thing I want to say is I never knew anything about RuPaul's Drag Race before coming here. <laughs> the only thing I remember say hear people saying was, oh, Raven, yeah, like I, I, they mentioned all the girls that perform here. Like, Raven should have won season two. Raven should have won season two. Yeah. And all star. Yeah. <laughs> and now. As I watched season two, I got more and more pissed off because I know she didn't and clearly should have. So thank you, Raven, for being here every single week, showing us one of the best drag shows in the nation, if not the fucking best drag show in the nation. And thank you, thank you, thank you, Mickey's. I got five seconds left. And thank you, Mickey. Thank you, Mickey's, for having me around for these two and a half years and, and giving me a life outside of college and allowing me to move on with my life. Thank you. Give it up for Wilma or Chase. Girl, I thought you were going to give me like a Donald Trump speech or some bullshit like that. Like, this bitch, this pussy is orange as fuck. It smells like Cheetos and hot Fritos. That's not that. I mean, okay. All right, girl. Can I get a drink? I'm thirsty. I'm 